Hey guys, this video is about getting spindle feedback on your 7-inch mini lathe using an encoder into the Centroid CNC12 software. So let me show you how this works. Just really quickly, this is my prototype. And uh, what I have here is a 3D printed gear mounted on this encoder, which is sandwiched in with this bracket. Um, I went this direction because uh, it uses all the, the stock gearing and everything on the spindle. So literally, if this works, all you have to do is bolt this on and off you go. Uh, pulleys would be better, but then you would have to replace this gear with a pulley, which honestly would not be difficult, but I figured I'd go with the simplest thing first and try it. So let's fire this up and see what happens. So it works pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with it actually. Now I notice that at different RPMs I see maybe a slightly different reading on the digital display on the lathe versus what I see over here, but it's only different by a few RPM, like maybe two or three RPM. And I'll be honest with you, um, the faster I go, the higher the RPM goes, the, the more similar these numbers get at, at, at a really low RPM. I see a slightly larger difference. Uh, I don't have a good, you know, calibrated tachometer, so I don't know how how truly accurate the tachometer is that's on the lathe. And I'll be honest with you, my gear that I 3D print it may not be exactly the the perfect size uh, matching the gear up here on the the spindle. But you know, I'm pretty happy um, if I'm only seeing a difference of a few RPM. If I'm only seeing a few RPM difference in the two readings, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so uh, just real quick background. If you're, if you're used to Mach 3, then you're used to the world where you only have one pulse per revolution that you can throw into the spindle or throw into your Mach 3 software pretty easily using like a Hall effect sensor or a photo sensor, something like that. But um, that's one pulse per revolution here. In the centroid world, we have 8,000 pulses per revolution. So that's 8,000 times uh, better than one pulse per revolution, right? Uh, very accurate. And something else that you know I'd like to show you is the feedback here in centroid is instantaneous. Whereas in Mach 3, at the beginning of a move, it reads the RPM and it assumes that RPM is constant throughout the course of the move. Uh, the Centroid software is reading the RPM constantly during the move. So what I'm going to do is throw in a quick MDI move and show you what I'm talking about. And um, I'll probably, I'll do this once while I'm holding the camera by hand and then I'll set it up again on the tripod so you can see it. So let me throw in a really low RPM, something really small. That's good. And let's do a uh, MDI move. Let's do... Um, G, G1, uh, I don't know, W, negative 3, feed rate of 0.1. So this is a pretty fast, pretty heavy feed rate. And um, let's see what this thing does. Oh, need a G99 on there. Okay. So what I'm going to show you here is as I increase the RPM, it is updating.
right? Let me do that again. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to set this up on the tripod and uh, do it a few times so you can see what I'm talking about. I think it'll be easier to see while the camera's not moving. But what's happening here, the Centroid software is counting 8,000 pulses per revolution and it is uh, dynamically compensating for that constantly. Not just at the beginning of each uh, line of CNC code, it's compensating throughout the entire move. So that's, that's way better than um, what you are ever going to get in Mach 3. And that's something I just wanted to bring to your attention. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing some more videos here with threading and uh, inch per revolution feed rates. Uh, that's coming soon. But let me set this up and show you this demonstration with a steady camera so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is really important, it's really nice because uh, what I'm going to show you here, I'm going to simulate this with a rag, when you're in the cut, it can affect the, the spindle RPM. So there you go. Uh, I'm really impressed with this. I didn't realize how nice this was going to work, but uh, the Centroid people told me that this would be really impressive, and I think it is uh, a huge impro improvement over what I was seeing with Mach 3. So, all right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please be safe when you're, working on, when you're working on all your projects, and we'll talk to you again soon. So long.